this film before a live studio audience. You sure are down here early this morning, sport. I dressed myself. Fantastic. And how are your grades? Good. The other day in class, I drank three whole bottles of glue, and teacher said she'd never seen that before. <laughs> Fantastic. Good morning, dearest. And how are your grades this year? Great, Daddy. Like always. And Ricky, how are yours? Fine. Ricky? Well, gee, Dad, I just have such a hard time getting my arithmetic down. And Mrs. Harrington's such a tough teacher. Maybe you should knuckle down and be more like your sister. <laughs> well, maybe we should have a talk with this Miss Harrington. Jimmy, honey, don't play with your food. That's a great idea, honey. We'll invite her on over for dinner tomorrow night. And, uh, well, boy, it looks like you kids should be getting off to school. Bye, Daddy. Bye, sweetheart. grades and all, and they were wondering if you'd like to come to dinner at our house tomorrow night to talk to them about it. Oh, well, sure, Ricky. I'll come over and tell your parents that I've got a quick fix in those grades. Be more like your sister. Well, of course I did, Mom. Can I go watch TV before Pop gets home? Did you get your homework done? Well, of course I did. It went by swell. Well, I suppose, but I think Grandpa's watching the honeymooners. Okay, Mom. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Hey, what's doing? I'm blushing out. Grandpa, you were asleep. Don't think that calling me, Sonny. You're not too old for me to bend over my knee. Oh, Grandpa. Hey, Sonny, did I ever tell you about that time in 1926 in France when I saved Big Ben from the Australians? No, Grandpa, but, oh, wait a minute. Jimmy, I think Grandpa has something he'd like to tell you. Well, the year is 1906. And I just a uh, lonely Pony Express rider stationed in Paris. Of course, this is before the radio was invented. And all of a sudden, hey there, Rickers! Oh, hey there, Mr. Scott. What's the matter, Ricky? Well, my parents are awful sore about my grades, and tomorrow night my teacher's coming over to talk to them about it. You sure are in one dill of a pickle. You said it, Mr. Scott. Well, when I was your age, I was in a similar predicament. You want to know what I did? 
Well, boy, sure I do. What did you do? Here's how it goes. Honey, I'm home. And that's how it happened. Who's in the kitchen? Is that Red? Is he stealing another one of my you hoos I swear, those you hoos are for the family! Good luck, Ricky. If I come in here and he's got one more of my... Hey, Ricky, how you doing? Man, these cookies sure do look good. Mrs. Harrington's gotta love them. Is that all Mr. Scott said to do? Yup, Mrs. Harrington's gonna love these cookies so much, she's bound to raise my grade. Come on in. Bill, it is wonderful to see you again. Wonderful to see you. It's a pity we couldn't meet under the same circumstances as when Lindsay was your student. <laughs> Great, honey. Hold my pipe, sport. Honey, that was a terrific meal. That sure was a fine meal, Janice. Well, thank you, Mrs. Harrington. So, Ricky, how about those grades? Wait, Mrs. Harrington! I baked you a special treat! Cookies! They look utterly delightful, Ricky. Well, I sure hope they are. We worked really hard on them. <laughs> so, Ricky, about those grades. <coughs> Are there peanuts in those cookies? Well, of course, Mrs. Harrington. They're peanut butter cookies. <coughs> I'm allergic to... Ricky! <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Hey, Ricky! It's time for you to change my bedpan! <laughs> oh, Grandpa! But seriously, you're grounded. <laughs> Boy, I sure learned something today. I learned that if you're in a pickle with your grades, don't accidentally kill your teacher. <laughs>